Hi guys, welcome. This is Donna with Nurse Tarot. We are going to do messages over coffee. So I have my coffee here. I hope you guys can grab a coffee and join me. Um, you get a choice. So we have three piles here. So we have pile one, which um, this is the Tarot of Mystical Moments. Pile two is the Intuitive Night Goddess Tarot. And pile three is the painted tarot. So you make your choice. You can pause the video, take your time. So pile one again is mystical moments. Pile two, the intuitive night goddess. And pile three is the painted tarot. Okay, so I'm gonna put two and three up there and we're going to start with pile one. So it's not a long reading. It's just going to be a reading for the day or, you know, they're timeless, right? Whenever you come across it is when you need to hear this. And all of the readings, you know, you can use, you know, maybe maybe today you're going to be drawn to, to uh, pile one. And maybe next week you'd be drawn to pile three. So whenever you come and you're looking for answers, pick the pile that resonates with you that day, okay? Okay, so let's have a little reading here. So pile one, okay? So everyone that chose pile one, here we go. We're going to do something a little bit different today. It's just a, a short version of a Celtic cross, okay? So nothing fantastic or, you know, extreme, just a short version, okay? So I love it and um, it reveals a lot, okay? So here we go. And don't mind my sniffles. I have some allergies going on, okay? So I'm not sick. Um... All right, so what I feel is getting in your way right now. So, you know, as far as work goes, as far as stability goes, I feel like you're getting in your way. So I feel like you are your own worst enemy right now. Whatever's going on around you right now, there seems to be an issue. There seems to be something that uh, when it comes to work or volunteer or looking after your home, whatever it is that you take pride in, you know, that you want to expand on is not working, okay? And I do believe that you are getting in your way. So maybe you need to build confidence for work. Maybe you need to build relationships to find uh, an opportunity that you're looking for. Whatever this is, it's really important that you follow your you know, follow your heart, but you want to make sure that you are being informed along the way, okay? Now, I do feel some past influences that are influencing this is, um, uh, you know, like choices that you've made before. Maybe they haven't been the best, but, you know, don't, um, you don't want to keep that from holding you back. You have grown, you have learned, and so mistakes we made in the past or you want to call them failures go ahead but i call them as opportunities they're learning opportunities okay so whatever it is that you're hanging on to let it go so get rid of that okay so don't worry about that you are like i said you are just keeping yourself imprisoned you know nobody else but you right so you need to allow yourself to grow you need to allow yourself to do the things that you want to do or get ahead in your work okay so i do feel that conflict you're not good with especially with work or people that you care about their opinion right so you're not good at conflict so Learning how to handle difficult people, whether it be family members or work people or talking to your boss, all that kind of stuff could really help you. So I do feel that sometimes um, you can be influenced by others, okay? So, and I feel like you you let them lead you down, you astray, um, and it's just so you don't have to disagree with them. So yeah, you you know, like, 
yes, you know, like saying yes all the time to every suggestion when you don't feel that way. So learn to speak your mind, learn to stand up for yourself. And like I said, there's lots of information online or there's courses on being assertive and about um, standing up for yourself, okay? And dealing with difficult people. And that's not an easy thing to do. So yeah, those kinds of things would really help you out, okay? And then I just feel that, <laughs> again, you worry about judgments from others, especially whatever's going on right now where you wanna progress. And I think you're worried about what others will think. You know, let's not worry about that. The only person that you really want to show what you can do, one is you. There's, I guess there's two people. One would be you and the other would be your boss, okay? And whether they like you or not doesn't really matter. What you need to show them is that you're capable and that you're, you're passionate about what you do. You are willing to show your cards. You're willing to work hard. You're willing to work through problems and you're not afraid to take initiative, okay? So that's what I think is important. And like I said, it doesn't matter whether it's a volunteer position, whether you're a homemaker, or whether you go out in the community and work, it doesn't matter what job you have because we all have somebody that we answer to, right? Even if it's just ourselves. So yeah, so you wanna make sure you're not beating up yourself. You wanna make sure that you are living up to your potential. And when you're not, Figure out how can I, you know, it's time to make that change, right? I think that's very important. And then I see that <clears throat> um, things right now that are kind of what's coming towards you, there's a new opportunity coming, okay? I see this opportunity as something changing around your environment. So you could be making a move or you could definitely be thinking about doing some renovations, maybe maybe starting a home business so you need some space, whatever this is, okay? And you're kind of afraid to do it or not sure how to go about it. Find the information you need, okay? So I do feel there's lots that's going on with you that you can offer and I feel you're gonna do a really good job, okay? So again, get out of your own way and you know allow things to happen, all right? And then I, I think it's really important that, you know, we look at, you know, how you see yourself, right? And what's going on there. And you see yourself as, you know, you know you're grounded. You know that for the most part, you feel pretty confident in what you do. But you let those emotions kind of run away with you, right? And then you want to hide. And then you want to escape. And, um, you know... You can't be a runner all your life, right? There comes a point where you have to stand up and you have to go all in, right? So I think this is time for you to go all in on something, for you to, to just have that confidence, for you to take, take the bull by the horn and just go all in, okay? And I think you would be very, very happy, all right? You are grounded. Trust the universe has your back. Trust all that, okay? And then... You know, you've had a lot of problems come up and you've had a lot of issues probably, you know, in the last few months. I would say there's been things coming up off and on and you're tired and you're tired of all the hard work and you're tired of starting again and you're tired of carrying the load by yourself, you know. So, you know, delegate some things, you know, maybe hire a housekeeper Whatever it is that you have to do, you need to do, right? So don't let this destructive kind of thoughts and ideas kind of overwhelm you and overpower you, okay? That to me is, again, another self-destructive kind of thing that we're doing. And you want to just make sure you're on that move forward. And don't let anybody else's problems become your own. As empaths, we often take on other people's problems, whether it be a partner or whatever. We want to not do that, okay? So that's really important as well. And then moving forward, I feel there's love for you coming. And if you're in a relationship, I feel like this is a really good time to uh, connect with community, 
as a couple, you know, connect with your community, connect um, with learning about yourselves, maybe, maybe even counseling, maybe it's couples counseling, maybe you're going to take a dance class or a cooking class together, something fun, okay? And um, I mean, counseling's not fun, but sometimes it's needed, right? I do feel like you're doing so good. And I do feel like you have the opportunity to make a lot of things happen in your life. So yeah, so just take that opportunity. And with this relationship, either you're in it or you're coming around to it soon within five, five days, five weeks, five months, okay? And let it happen, okay? And then the outcome is I'm getting is everything is going to be balanced. Everything's going to turn out the way it should and be very, very balanced. So yeah, my cat is unfortunately on my table right now. So get down, you. <laughs> so yeah, so everything is turning out the way it should and the way you would want it to. And we also have the star on that, okay? So everything turns out balanced and turns out with wishes and dreams coming true. So there's lots of potential here if you chose pile number one, right? So yeah, so that is your little short reading. Now I am going to get some Oracle cards and we're going to, I think we're going to use these. These are the Wild Unknown Archetypes. I haven't used these much. Um, they're a little, they're round <laughs> and um, I don't always do great with round cards, but I'm going to pull three cards for outcome, okay? And then we're going, I'll use the book and we'll have a look at that, okay? Of what that gives us. So we have, we have the bow. We have the riddle. Jeez. And we have the shadow, okay? So let's have a look and see what those mean. So, um... Oh boy. So L I H. I know Roman numerals, but I don't know uh, know them all. <laughs> Not sure where L I H is, but um, L I X. Hmm. L I B L I I. Hmm. Let's see if there's an index. <laughs> Might take me longer to do this than anything, right? So this is the vow. Oh, it's L I B. Geez, no wonder I can't find it if I could read. L-I-V. No wonder I couldn't find it, right? So this is the vow. So basically, and what it means is when the vow is spoken, the air shifts, karmic ties are formed, and destiny tilts on its axis. Our words and intentions have immense power. There is a reason the great mythical stories of our post of our past often include the res the the recitation of oaths and the mixing of drops of blood with a mark of union. The tricky part is that reciting the vow, no matter how casually, activates the um, eternal and unseen forces of the world. So basically, make a vow to yourself, right? The promise, the oath, the contract, make a vow to yourself of what you're going to do and don't stop letting yourself down so easy. You know, you can be the master of your own destiny, right? And then we have the riddle. L. The riddle. This is the puzzle, the question, the mystery, right? When the riddle is present, one must stop searching for the right answer. It cannot be found and ultimately it is not important. Rather, there must be a shift from the literal to the metaphorical, from logic to mythic. You are thinking too small and literally about a situation. 
The riddle card appears when the energy is deep and mysterious, like the elusive wisdom in a Zen cane. So basically, you know, before you make your vow, make sure you know what you want. Okay, so this is what that's saying, right? So when I say you're getting in your own way, you're holding yourself back. It may be these things you're telling yourself, right? So figure that out. So figure out the reason and then you're going to make a vow. But let's see what the shadow is first. So XXV. Mm, we're getting there. Excess V11. There we go. So this is the unspeakable, the unwelcome, and the denied, okay? Although every card in the archetypes deck has a shadow potential, this card asks us to delve into the qualities of the shadow itself. We often think that the shadow can be purified, illuminated, and made right through effort and achievement. However, it is typically the case that our lofty pursuit of ascension and perfection is the very source of shadow material itself. So basically, you know, you're rejecting parts of yourself, right? So you're rejecting the parts of yourself because you think it's wrong to feel a certain way. So figure out why, and that would solve the riddle. So look at those, why you're getting in your own way, figure that out, and then make a vow. And I think this is really, really strong reading. And I really, hey, I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. So we have pile number two now, okay? So this is pile number two, and this is the intuitive uh, night goddess tarot. So let's have a look at your message if you chose pile number two. And you know, I may do like messages over coffee, might not always be three piles. It could be just one message. You know, so I just want to leave it open. So, yeah. Okay, so this is pile number two. Again, we're going to do, um, you know, a version of Celtic Cross. Okay, so Ten of Wands, the Empress reversed, the Universe, the High Priestess reversed, the Two of Cups, the Five of Pentacles. Then we have the Three of Pentacles reversed. And we have Temperance, the Monarch, and then we have the Warrior of Wands. All right, so this is very good, okay? So basically, um, I believe your reading is about starting something new. So it's a new idea, a new project, a new way to do something. You want to do something different, okay? And I think that that is lovely. And I think it's a great opportunity for you. Believe in yourself, okay? And you have to be kind. Don't be too rushy, rushy. And make sure that you're nurturing yourself through it, okay? So you don't want to be spending 20 hours at a time on something. You want to make sure you're eating, you're resting, that kind of thing, okay? So take your time with it. And really, really think, how can you ease your burdens? How can you ease somebody else's burdens? Maybe that's the answer, right? So I really feel that you have good ideas and that it's time for you to kind of get started with them, all right? So yeah, so you have the, um, you know, everything has, your life hasn't been bad. Everything has been going okay. I'm not saying it's been perfect, but I'm saying, Things have gone okay for you. You know, you've had lots of opportunities and you've had some really good things happen. I mean, everybody has ups and downs, but for the, for the most part, you've been pretty fortunate this last while. Um, then I see uh, we have the High Priestess reversed. So I do see that you do not listen to your intuition 
as much as you could, okay? So I feel like that intuitive part of yourself sometimes gets kind of lost in the shuffle, right? So um, make sure you're checking in with your intuition, paying attention, really listening to what's going on there, all right? Um, I also see that there are um, <clears throat> people, there are a person, let's say a person, and it could be a lover, or it could be a work partner, or it could be a, a parent or a friend, but this person you're very close to, and this person really, really helps you in life and helps you stay balanced and help you stay focused on what you need to focus on. So I think they're an asset to you, and I really like them for you. Um, so yeah, so money hasn't been fantastic for you and I think you worry about it and I think you would worry about it regardless of the number. Um, I think you would worry about it. So some people just have those worries, right? And they're never quite sure, um, you know, of the outcome. So they're always kind of preparing for the worst, which is not terrible, but you just don't want it to add too much stress to yourself. Okay. Um, so we have the three of pentacles reversed here. And I do believe that, you know, that this is kind of, you want, you work really hard, but you get distracted easy. Okay. So that distraction stops you from completing things. So whether it's around the home, whether it's, you know, doing things that you like, fun things, or whether it's actually work, right? I do think you can get distracted quite easily. So maybe it's internet, you know, it could be our phones, it could be whatever it is, right? Make sure you stay focused, okay? Focus, focus, focus. Um, so you worry about, um, you know, um, uh, people understanding you, you understanding others, Sometimes you're impatient and sometimes that kind uh, rubs off the wrong way on people or you might be a little bit critical um, and that, you know, that's okay. You're going to learn more, uh, learn how to be more compassionate and give constructive criticism and not just blunt, okay? Blunt honesty, like honesty is great and I think I'm a very honest reader and I think I'm an honest person, but I try to be a little bit compassionate uh, with my honesty, okay? So I try not to be too blunt. Um, and then we have the monarch. So I do think that, you know, there is, hmm, how do I put this? There's definitely hmm, that strength in you that you need absolutely is there, okay? So just allow that to kind of, um, build and um, be important to you. Again, my cat. Be important to you and just let it grow with you, okay? You don't have to um, control everything. Just know you've got it inside, okay? And then I really feel that the outcome's going to be whatever you allow it to be. So I think you need to take the bull by the horn, you know? I think you need to go after what you want. I think you need to take a chance. Um, I really do see it as that simple, okay? Now, we're just going to clarify a couple of things here, okay? First of all, with your, you know, the high priestess reversed and the ace of cups is reversed as well there. So, you're really not listening to your intuition. So, your intuition is super, super important, okay? And I know you have lots of love around you. You want love in your life, but you need to listen to that intuition so you know what's going on, okay? So you know where you're lacking and, and where you're excelling. And I think that's very important, okay? So um, I sell a book on uh, developing your intuition and I will it will be linked below. I think that could be a really good starter for you. I think your intuition is really important and you need to develop it, okay? So there you go, my dear. I also feel that I pulled two cards there. So for relationships, I do feel like, you know, we have the seven of wands reversed and the four of cups. So I do feel like there is 
um, now is time for you to take some action, okay? The Four of Cups, you're just, you're not doing enough that you need to do when it comes to relationships, okay? Or when it comes to uh, allowing people in your life. Um, maybe you're afraid, you know, of what they'll take or, you know, of what you have to offer. Maybe you have some doubts there, but don't, okay? You have a lot to offer and I think you need to be more forceful there. So, like I said, don't worry about money. Money's going to be okay. Um, I think you can get caught up in that and you can really, really worry and really drive yourself insane. Maybe a financial planner might help you, um, especially if you're thinking of doing something new, which I said in the beginning, right? So, there's a new endeavor that you need to take on. So, and it could be personal or it could be work-related, right? So, yeah. Um... So we have freedom and we have the Eight of Pentacles reversed. So I just, you know, I feel that you are just so capable and you have a lot of skills that you haven't even thought about in a long time. So don't just think about what do I do? Think about what am I composed of? What what skills do I have? You know, what what communication skills do I have? What skills on um creativity what skills on athletic what's where's all my skills and maybe compose a list of all your skills right and your achievements and i think that can set you free because you can see potential then right where you're having a hard time seeing that right now you know um new opportunity coming absolutely just be patient okay it will be coming soon and I also feel that you're not doing this alone. So there's somebody that can definitely help you. And I feel it's awesome. It's just, it, it's so good that I think you're going to be very, very surprised um, how it can come together. All right. Um, and then the outcome with the Six of Pentacles. Well, give me one more here. And the Warrior of Swords reversed. The biggest thing is communication, okay? So the biggest thing is communication for you, getting your thoughts across to somebody else, basically, right? Or honing down your thoughts or kind of figuring out your thoughts and figuring out, okay, how does this fit, right? And then deciding what you're going to do. I think you will have support of your closest friends or your family or your partner. And I think you will have support there. And I think it's really good. And I think this is going to give you more balance. It's going to give you just a better kind of outlook. Okay. So we are going to use Ask and It Is Given cards. Okay. This is by Esther and Jerry Hicks. I love these. Um, and we're just going to pull um, a card for today for this reading, right? And, um, yeah, I think we'll pull three, okay? I pulled three oracles in the other, so I think we'll pull three. So, um, let's just do it this way. So, we're going to pick number one, number two, and number three. Okay. Okay, so let's have a look here. What did we pull? So, the first one is, I am, I am a physical extension of source energy. Everything in your physical environment was created from non-physical perspective by that which you call source. And just as source created your world and you, through the power of focused thought, you, from the leading edge, place in this time-space reality and are continuing to create your world, right? Talk about a new opportunity card. This is it right here, right? That's exactly creating your world, right? So, and then, then the next card is, I have the ability to direct my own thoughts, right? So you have the opportunity of observing of observing things 
as they are or of imagining them as you want them to be. And whichever option you choose, your thoughts produce a vibration within you that equals your point of attraction. And then circumstances and events line up to match the vibrations that you have offered. So basically, manifest what you want, right? So find out what you're looking for and then go after it, okay? And um, the more positive energy you put towards that, the better off you're going to be it will, you will manifest it um, easier and quicker. When I reverse the thought, I reverse the condition. There is no condition so severe that you cannot reverse it by choosing different thoughts. However, choosing different thoughts requires focus and practice. If you continue as you have been, to think as you have been, and to believe as you have been, then nothing in your experience will change. So these all work together, right? So change your thought patterns, listen to your intuition, right? And then that changes your direction. And then everything comes together. So there's your reading, dear. I hope you enjoyed it and blessings. So if you chose pile number three, this is going to be your reading for today. And this is the Painted Tarot, okay? Beautiful, beautiful deck. I love this deck. It is very, very lovely. So again, we're going to do a play with the Celtic Cross. So we have the Ace of Swords, the Hierophant, oh, Seven of Swords, King of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, the Emperor, um, the Four of Pentacles, uh, Strength, the Queen of Swords, and then we have the Five of Cups, okay? So if you chose pile number three, this is your pile, all right? So we're going to look at um, kind of what's going on here, okay? You've got lots of ideas and thoughts and, you know, all these things, new things that you want to do, new ways you want to communicate, all those kinds of things, okay? So you are learning big time and you need to continue to learn. I think you love learning and I think you will always be a learner okay so you'll always be involved in learning something and I think it makes you happy okay so yeah so that's very very important there so keep doing what you're doing don't be afraid to take a course you're never wasting your money on education okay even if it's a even if it's simple like a painting course or something there you're not wasting your money doing that you're always learning so you're learning about yourself or you're learning about a new way to express or you're always learning, right? So yeah. So I do feel like you've had some really hard breaks in the past, some heartaches, some really hard times in the past, and they've been significant, but you have escaped that. You have gone through that and you have been on well on your way for a while now. There may be still some skeletons there that you need to deal with. But overall, you're doing a fantastic job. Um, I do feel there is male presence in your life. So there's a male presence, a male energy presence in your life that does help you. And I do feel this person is very strong, um, very creative. Um, I feel they have lots of passion and energy. And sometimes you need to be around people like that, you know, to kind of build you, right? Um, they can be a stress point in your life, and I feel like they have been. So there may have been a recent breakup with this person, 
or you know uh, there may have been um, a parting of something okay and I feel like it's still playing on you so you know it, this could have come years ago or it could be very very recent okay but I feel like that kind of person you needed that energy of that person and now you've got to find that energy within yourself that creative um, strong um, passionate energy right that just lights up a room you can find that within yourself okay so yeah um, I also feel that you've done some really good work in the past okay so you've done some really good cultivating and you've really planted some good seeds okay I do think, however, that there is, you know, there is a time to let go. And there's some things that you've been kind of dragging along with you that you really need to let go. And once you once you do that, I think your future will be much brighter. And I think it's getting to the point where you're being forced. So you're actually being forced to let go of something or someone, okay? And I don't think it's a bad thing at all. Um, moving forward, I do see somebody um, that comes into your life that is going to be a big part of your life. Um, they could have just entered, they could have been around for a bit, but I feel this is more new, okay? And I feel this is kind of a, or, the, or it's going to feel new, you've made a breakthrough or whatever, okay? So this is going to feel really positive. This person's very grounded willing to go the extra mile okay so loyal very very loyal so i feel you will be your own boss at some point um so whether it's a sideline or a side hustle or whether you uh open up your own shop or you're going to be a ceo of a company whatever it is you're going to be very very successful that way okay and i don't mean necessarily money success but i feel like the success that you feel in your heart that you're proud of yourself you feel good and that you want this for you and everybody else okay so i just feel like this is going to happen for you um, um, coming in the future. Not too far in the future, but you're not quite there yet, okay? So, excuse me, I do have allergies. So, my cats, they say I don't, but I don't believe them. Okay, so you need to take a chance, all right? So, I think you have ideas. I think you have, like I said in the beginning, these ideas and stuff you're learning about and all that, you really need to take it seriously, okay? Where can you just take a leap of faith? Is it your love life? Is it your job? Is it, are you writing a book? What are you doing? Are you starting to journal? What are you doing? Are you working on yourself, your spirituality? Whatever it is, take a leap of faith and dive right in, okay? That's what you need to do right now. And I think then once you do that, you're going to solve a couple of problems. You're going to solve some boredom problems and you're going to solve problems that you don't think you're getting anywhere. So those issues are going to go away, okay? Um, the hardships that you've had, believe me, you are going to have some rocky months, okay? And you are going to have rocky days. But out of that, you're going to feel your resilience become even stronger, okay? So you have super resilience and you bounce back. Okay, so don't be afraid of adversity. Adversity teaches us lessons, adversity helps us grow, and adversity makes us who we become, right? And we just become better with the way we deal with it. So it's not what happens to you, but how you deal with what happens to you, okay? So try to keep that in mind as well, because there will be adversity in the next while. You know, ups and downs, right? Like I said earlier, you know, that maybe it's that relationship thing, right? But yeah, so just learn from it, okay? You are smart um, and you have been carrying a load for a while. Put it down, okay? You don't need it anymore. So put it down, start something new, okay? If something isn't working, why would you continue? You know, you really need to be honest with yourself and you really need to say, hey, I don't need this. I don't need to continue this. 
I can just let it go. So do that, all right? And I think it's really important, and I think you can do that. So our outcome cards, okay? So I do believe you need to make a choice, and it's as easy as that and as hard as that, okay? So making a choice sometimes or picking your path is the hardest thing to do. You know, which direction do I go? What is right? Listen to that little voice inside your gut. Go for a walk. Um, quiet yourself. Just think about what you see, smell. Let your senses all just come alive, right? And then when you get back in your home and you're sitting, what are you thinking about? What is your intuition telling you? Pay attention, okay? Just know that you are creative, that you have potential, you do have passion, and you do have confidence. So you are very courageous, and you can make anything happen that you want to. So don't be afraid to take a chance, okay? Everything is there for you. This is a really good reading. And like I said, it's not without adversity, but it's a really good reading, okay? So yeah, so let's get at oracle cards and let's see what these oracle cards say. So we're going to use oracle of unicorns. So, you know, when, when things are going shitty for me, you know, I like to think of unicorns as... You know, I mean, yes, they're mythical, but to me, um, they give me hope. They give me um, happiness. Um, they give me joy. Possibilities are endless, right? And I just think that, you know, it, it's just, I don't know, maybe it's another fairy tale, <laughs> right? Not I live by, but I like unicorns. So I'm going to pull three cards like I did in the last two reads. And so let's see what these Oracle of Unicorns have to say for you. We have hope, okay? Then we have polarity. And then we have imagination. So that's really nice. I have the book here, okay? But anyway, hope is uh, stay positive. The world is behind you. Look up to the light. So again, realize your potential, okay? Okay look at what's what's in front of you look at what you can do instead of what's happened to you right and then polarity so polarity is integrate your shadow side there can be no light without dark understand the law of polarity so that makes so much sense right like i said even with adversity you learn something good right so this is exactly what it's talking about it's talking about the two extremes, right? The shadow and the light and, you know, and the adversity and the good times, right? It's all part of life and you're not going to escape it. So what you need to do is know how to handle it, right? So yeah, so we talked about that so much in this reading and that just solidifies that, right? And it's just making it so true. And then the last card here is imagination. Envision a new reality. Give yourself permission to dream. Believe in unlimited possibilities. So exactly what I said. You are capable. You can do whatever it is that you choose to do. You need to set something up different for you. You need to make those choices and you need to make it happen. So there you go, my dear. I think it was a lovely reading. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, we will talk to you very soon. Bright blessings, my dear. Hmm. Hmm.